what's up, everybody? It's Brandon here with the Resimply Podcast. I want to welcome you to another episode. Uh, today we have Oleg with Real Estate Bees. Oleg, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you, Brandon. Yeah, it's great to finally connect. I appreciate you being on. I'm excited to learn about some new stuff today. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So, Oleg, uh, where are you located? Uh, I'm currently in um, Cleveland, Ohio. Gotcha. So, yeah, I'm kind of moving throughout the country like a nomad. From Texas to uh, California now in in, um, in Ohio. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I've, uh, I have the home of LeBron James. So Real Estate Bees is a platform you started. Um, tell me a little bit about what Real Estate Bees is. Yeah, sure. So Real Estate Bees is basically it's an um, online platform for uh, real estate professionals of all kind. Um, it's just at this point of uh, development of the platform, we concentrate mostly on real estate investors and in particular on wholesalers. Okay. So we provide all types of um, solutions for wholesalers and investors in terms of, uh, we, basically we take it from, you know, from the acquisition of a deal all the way to the disposition. This is short description of yeah. what we do at this. Yeah, yeah we, can, we can dig into a little bit more. What was kind of the thought for you on, on starting this platform and how long has the platform been around? Yeah, so it's kind of interesting story. I almost, um, occasionally stumble, stumble upon this uh, whole real estate investing, real estate uh, marketing in general. Um, you know, unlike uh, other um, guests on your platform, I'm not an investor. You know, I've never closed any deal. I'm, I'm more on the marketing and technology side. So again, I love the marketing piece of it. And so um, started back to 2013 when I first launched the agency, the digital marketing agency. And we, we were primarily um, focusing on SEO, search and optimization of, uh, you know, for all types of businesses. So we were um, like a generalist agency that, you know, one day can take a bakery business, another day, another day can take a plant or, you know, next day we take a real estate agent. So from there, it's kind of started being too much of a, uh, uh, time consuming because, you know, in order to do, in order to deliver a good result, you, you need to really concentrate on, on the industry. You need to understand the pinpoint and all of that. Right. So we kind of started thinking, okay, how we can transition somewhere to, and, and, and specialize in certain industry. And so my partner at the time, so, um, Marina, she, she was, uh, friends with one guy, um, from Houston. Texas. And so he was a real estate investor. And back then I didn't really understand that. So he always came to her and said, listen, let's start some, you know, start, start running traffic to, um, real estate, you know, investing related kind of businesses with, you know, the keywords like, um, sell house fast and all of that. And I, back then I didn't understand it. I, I look at the, you know, keyword research and all of that is so low. Uh, volume, you know, like, because as an SEO professional, we kind of look a lot on the volume of the keyword, um, search. And so I kind of didn't, um, didn't want to get there, but over and over she kind of brought him and we slowly started kind of doing it right on the side from, you know, from our business. And suddenly, you know, we, we kind of created a little website there, started driving traffic through, um, searching optimization and, um, like next time you see, you know, we receive a check from him, right. For like $3,000, $4,000. And this is like, this is our, um, you know, split of the commission. We basically, we kind of, we charge 20% of the closing. Yeah. And, you know, from there, we started another website more on the commercial side. And he also did the same thing. He just wholesale those properties, uh, to somebody else, to another investor. And suddenly we started receiving five figure. Uh, you know, checks. And this is like, okay, this is interesting. And so from there, we kind of transitioned into the real estate investing more and we created the um, real estate biz brand. And it, in the beginning, we kind of created this as a real estate focused uh, digital marketing agency. And then we kind of looked at there's a lot of competition. So let's kind of go away from that concept. And so we, we eventually we transitioned it to a platform right so to be kind of unbiased on the industry and so we stopped doing um all types of digital marketing services we, we became really the platform for real estate professionals 
And we have a yeah. bunch of stuff that we do really for free for uh, all types of real estate professionals. For example, um, we have a business directory on the website, yeah. which is, you know, it, it features all types of professionals, starting from real estate agents, brokers, uh, builders, property managers, investors. We have close to 40 categories right now. So this is one of the ways how we help uh, professionals just, you know, you, you create a profile and then we drive traffic from, you know, search engines mainly, also from Facebook a little bit. And so people come to this uh, the platform and for example, if they look for real estate agent, so they go to our platform, they see, let's say top 10 real estate agents in a certain area, they contact them and they, they get lead for free. So we don't charge anything for that. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah, so this is one of those features that we have for free. So, you know, any real estate professional, if you is licensed or it doesn't, if it doesn't require a license, so you can register for free on the platform and, you know, just utilize it absolutely free. That's really cool. So you saw or your friend or, or this gentleman from Houston saw an opportunity with SEO probably before SEO was super popular. Is that based on kind of what you said yeah. the the search looked like for those words? Yeah, so it was back to, I guess, 2015-ish, something like that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there was already decent competition on, on search, but still it wasn't even close to what we have right now. And um, yeah, so he kind of, he, he, he used to do it on the, you know, the traditional way, the uh, mailers and all of that, direct mail. And so he, yeah. he was doing really nice, right? And so he always understood that there is kind of way to um, also um, supercharge it through search because as we know, you know, the search engine optimization is, is a, you know, the completely different intent where it's an inbound uh, marketing when somebody comes to you and asking for information, right? So yeah, it was really good advice back then, but we, in the beginning, we really didn't see it like that. Yeah. it's. But you, it sounds like when you started your business, you set, you started it a lot like a real estate investor where, Hey, I'm going to help everybody. You know, you mentioned you're going to have a plant and then you're going to have, I think you said maybe a bakery or like, you're going to have all these different businesses and try to SEO optimize them, which is really difficult because I know as somebody SEO is my favorite lead. I love when people they find me, they know, like, and trust me, then they reach out. It's a much easier conversation. Well, that the company that helps us, I mean, they're writing blogs and, and it's, everything's very specific to the niche of us. So I can imagine how difficult it was, which most real estate investors start that way. They're like, Hey, I'm going to wholesale. I'm going to flip. I'm going to buy rentals. I'm going to do all these marketing channels. And then they don't do they realize, hey, I'm kind of scattered all over the place. This is really difficult to maintain. So when you transitioned to this platform, Real Estate Bees, did you cut off all the other stuff or stop doing it or slow it down or? Yeah, we literally started firing our clients. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, yeah, it was really liberating uh, because, you know, it's just, whenever, you know, whenever you work uh, as a generalist marketer right and even though you do great job right uh, people don't appreciate it because it you, you don't really know their lingo right so whenever you come to somebody and says and say i don't know um, you know you speak their language and on what they kind of they have this pinpoint uh, the the point um the the pain points that they really kind of have in their day-to-day -day work Right. So they uh, and if marketer comes and speak their language, they appreciate it very much. So it, it was literally we we were firing our clients. We did probably fire all the clients uh, within two years, I, I would say, because our clients loved us. Right. So we, we did really good job. And so they stick to, with us for for years uh, yeah. just for, you know, for SEO services. Um, but yeah, it was kind of hard first but very liberating because whenever you concentrate on one thing it's just it, it becomes so much easier because it, it's just it's so much resources when you need to learn a new industry every time some client comes to you some bakery right you need to learn completely uh, the whole industry in order to do a good job and it's it just it's what wasn't really viable for us and we were talking about Sherrod before we got on this Sherrod's favorite book is the one thing you know yeah. that, that's 
every, every time, every time him and I've talked and he's like, I just need to focus on, you know, the one thing, which is, you know, where resimply has come about and, and yeah, he still invests, but his, his passion has become, you know, the tech side for sure for, for investors. So what did you notice when you got into this were pain points for wholesalers? Yeah. So this is, we realized pretty quickly that but you know two main pain points right so one is acquisition of those deals right how do you find those deals uh when before they hit the market right so this is how to how do you acquire the uh, off-market deals and not just off-market deals of you know i want to sell my house fast but you really need to differentiate between those people who kind of want to sell fast because everybody wants to sell fast right yeah. but whether they are in the situation that will allow a uh, wholesaler come there and really negotiate the price right so this is one thing is to really identify in those um hot leads and and this in distress right in, in distress uh, situation and the second one like first we thought okay we nailed it right we started generating these leads um like hotcakes and then we realized that uh you know if the lead comes from you know from a less popular area right let's say not some of those metro uh, large metro areas where you have a bunch of investors just waiting for this deal but you know a little bit outside right so nobody jumps on it so here we are in, in a new uh, predicament of how to uh, you know how to dispose of this deal and so this was the second pin, pin point of um uh, of wholesalers how to do disposition in an efficient way you know to to uh to sell it really quickly before uh their uh, standard 30-day contract uh, runs out so yeah so these are two pin points that we really found out and we uh, we started creating uh solutions for those gotcha so and y'all offer a way for them to get leads off market on your platform yeah so we we have we run several other platforms where we really generate those leads even okay. though we started kind of recently generating the uh, off-market leads through uh, real estate uh, .com itself um and so we kind of we collect those leads from multiple uh properties but properties and then we uh transition them into uh, our system so we, we recently launched um lead marketplace uh, yeah. which resides on uh, realestatebiz.com where um, you know any wholesaler or investor can come register for free and get access to those leads and so basically buy them one by one gotcha so they can they can register for the marketplace and then go on there what kind of and however much you want to share like what kind of information they get to see if they want to buy the lead or or like how much information do you guys receive that you can then pass on to the wholesaler yeah, so we uh, so we have really kind of scaled the the conversion of a lead, right? So we have a really nice tech where we have very um, conversion optimized forms, web forms, where we kind of we push the user through, and we collect I think close to fifteen data data points, right? So for example, it's uh, you know obviously address, name, email, uh, phone, uh, reason for selling, you know what type of property. So we have close to between the 15 to 20 uh, data points that we collect and then we share not all of the of those obviously before um, investor can make a decision right we don't yeah. show them obviously the the contact information <laughs> the address like, here's a free phone number <laughs> yeah yeah so some some information of course we hide right but we give them yeah. enough information to kind of understand okay here is the city we give them city uh, state and zip code right so every yeah. wholesaler knows uh, okay if this is the zip code i definitely get this deal right yeah. so yeah there's enough information for them to make uh, educated decision and you know whether they want to purchase or not okay cool so is it so then my question on that is as somebody who'd be interested in something like this is it market specific can anybody let's say i'm in charleston can anybody in charleston sign up or one person have a, a territory how does that work uh, no there's no really such thing so we we, okay. we accept any you know as many people as you know as there are you know uh, interested in so there's no um specific areas that you can reserve right it's basically a first come first serve right Got however so saw it first and, and we do try kind of provide different alerts right when a person can go and, and set what we call lead alerts right they basically they put their buying criteria 
right? And uh, whenever this leads that match this uh, acquisition criteria, they'll uh, they'll receive an email. Okay, gotcha. So they can they can, you know, somebody comes in one and say, I like to buy in this zip. A lead comes in, then they'll get a notification. Hey, we just got a new lead on the marketplace for two nine four zero seven or something like that. Yeah, correct. Gotcha. Okay, that's cool. And so, so then they can, so a wholesaler can get the lead or flip, anybody can get the lead, work it. And then let's say they get a contract, you guys have a marketplace or a way for them to assign them or wholesale them as well. Yeah. So we kind of working it out right now. We have already those services. They're more, more or less separated. We're trying to do them to connect them together. Right. So it's going to be smooth connection. If let's say they, they purchase the lead through our platform, right? And so this lead goes kind of under into a certain uh, several um, points, right? So first, um, you know, they need to connect to seller, you know, close them under contract, right? And then once they close them under contract, they need to immediately, as soon as possible, send, uh, you know, this property for sale, right? But under different status, right? It's wholesale deal already. It's not a motivated seller. So we kind of, we, we're working this out now to make it to streamline the process. But at this point, we, we still have, let's say if a wholesaler purchased a lead, right? So they still can take this property and, and list it right away on our marketplace which by the way syndicates there is a there is a, a way to syndicate it to different marketplaces that we own and run as well as different partners that we also syndicate with um so and there are also different ways we right now as we speak we work on the e-blast it's a separate yes. um kind of service that it's going to be a paid service where we um allow wholesalers and investors to send e-blast directly to our uh, buyers list Got it. Okay. Yeah. So even though whenever they lease the property, right on our marketplace, it automatically sends um, buyer list to our buyer list, but it sends it in a, in a kind of in a list in a listicle way, right? So for example, um, investor fr from one side, investor comes to our platform and says, "Okay, I want to buy properties in in Houston, Texas, single family homes." Um, you know, provide us with acquisition criteria, right? So we get this uh, investor as a user, as a as a buyer, right? To our buyers list. Now, from the other side, wholesaler comes and says, "Okay, I have a, a deal under contract. I want to sell it quickly, right?" And so they go list the property. It's automatically sent to um, all those investors whose buyer criteria matches, uh, you know, wholesaler's property criteria. Right. So, it, but it comes the, the the investor who submitted the buyer criteria, um, he or she receives it in a list mode. Right. So they they, yeah. they receive a daily notification saying, okay, you have today five properties that match your criteria. Right. When I talk when I say about the the blast, it is an individualized blast blast for this specific uh, property of a wholesaler, which only highlights the property of that particular wholesaler. So it's a kind of, you know, it's a different style of blast. They, they concentrate on one property only. Gotcha. Yeah. So it's not necessarily because in the other way, I guess it can potentially get bogged down or get lost in notifications where this would be blasted directly to their email or text or whatever it is. I gotcha. That's really cool. So it, it sounds like it makes a lot of sense for whether you're a wholesaler or like me, mainly a flipper to be on the platform because even if I'm not necessarily there to buy homes, even though I'd love to, if they're there, if somebody does get one under contract, then I can know that, Hey, there are wholesale deals available. Yeah, absolutely. Gotcha. So I will, uh, I'll be signing up after the podcast then. Um, cause I'm still, still always looking for more deals. What other kind of stuff does real estate bees offer? for the real estate professional or investor? Yeah, so we have um, mostly, you know, the, our main products are leads, right? The leads that we generate. And um, we generate not just motivated seller leads, right? We have several categories. We have loans of all types. We have different types of leads. But besides that, so the disposition portion, right? Which is we released recently, um, relatively recently, uh, what we call a property marketplace widget. So it's basically an embeddable 
uh, you know, embeddable widget, how you have a YouTube, right? That you can grab a YouTube video and embed it on your website. And there you, there you, there you have the video. The same thing we created for our marketplace, the same marketplace that we have been discussing for the last few minutes, right? Yeah. So any wholesaler or investor who wants um, to present their properties to uh, potential buyers, they can grab this widget absolutely for free. Um, you know, to generate this widget, for example, they say, okay, I want to have on my uh, property marketplace, um, these types of properties, right? Residential, commercial, we, we, sp we kind of separate them by four categories, residential, commercial, multifamily and land, right? And within those large categories, we have a bunch of types, right? For example, for residential, we have single family, townhomes, you know, condos, all of that. So they basically go through this very quick um, process of generation this little short code right that they can place on their website and then we'll populate our marketplace right on their website and so the cool thing is that this is also a disposition it's it's a powerful disposition uh, uh model because um whenever you know they they can list their own properties there at the same time they can also include our inventory of, of market properties. So this, it gives wholesaler additional way of making money. And what I mean is by, by GVing with somebody else, right? So if, uh, let's say, I don't know, wholesaler from another state listed a property, right, uh, for sale. And so you as a wholesaler come and you, you place this widget on your website. So your buyers who come to your website, they can also request information about that other wholesaler from another state. Right. And you will be the representative who can, you know, later on connect to this wholesaler and say, Hey, I have, you know, I have a buyer, you know, my buyer interested in this um, property. So let's GV and, you know, you split the commission at the end of the day. So this is one of the ways how they can make additional income. And also again, obviously by listing their own properties on this marketplace. But the, the coolest thing is that um, we allow through this process, through this um, widget, build their own uh, email list. So there will be a little button there on the, on the widget that says, join my buyer list, something like this. And so other, you know, your that wholesaler's users come to that marketplace, they click this button and they basically uh, fill out the same buying criteria form that I, dis, that I told, you, told you about uh, previously, right? Yeah. But at this point, they fill it out for that wholesaler. Basically, yeah. we help them build their uh, uh, buyers lists, right? And then at the same time, whenever, um, you know, you have a property that matches that buyer's criteria, that the buyers who filled out this, this uh, widget, right? When it matches their criteria, we automatically send email from your name, right? Not from ours as a real estate business, but from yours as a wholesaler. So basically you become a resource for your buyers uh, of, of market properties. That is really cool. So it, it creates this almost JV marketplace where people can see other deals yep. without necessarily going around you, you know? So it's like, so we'll use you and me for an example. If I'm wholesaling and I have a house that I'm selling and they go to my widget on my website, they click on it. And through that, they see something that you're trying to sell then they yeah. can request that information. And now myself, I can connect everybody, make a part of the assignment or commission or whatever it is there's to be made. And then boom, everybody makes money and does a deal together. Exactly, yeah. And then and then the second part I thought I is heard it right is if they see something else they like, you guys push uh, an information from their email. So it looks like, Hey, they're sending them more properties. That's pretty neat. So it's, it gives a lot of value to you as an investor for your clients. If you have a good buyer's list or, you know, you have, you have buyers that buy properties that it provide you with a lot of value. Yeah. And this is absolutely hands off because it, it's done through our, as I mentioned previously, a uh, property matching uh, engine, right? So it looks from one side as a buyer, from another side as, as a seller, right? And so they match 
both together automatically. You don't need you don't need to uh, to do anything. Send emails. You know, every time I see wholesalers send emails manually whenever they have a new uh, deal under contract, right? So they send it through some sort of email marketing system, which is not as efficient, I think, because this uh, system allows you to do it absolutely, you know, hands off. Gotcha. That's super cool. I've I've heard of. I've heard of definitely a bunch of people trying to create like an off market marketplace and do different stuff, but I've never heard it built this way. Everything I've always heard is like, Hey, we're just going to have a website. You go there and put your bids or offers in. It makes it more about the website and not about the investor where it sounds like you guys are making it more about the investor and your platform is just a way to connect everybody. Yeah. And this is because we want to, provide real value to our users right it's all about i think what we call reciprocity right so whatever you want to include other um, investors on your you know on your market th their properties so basically it's a, like a reciprocity thing right i include your properties you include mine and this way we do together you know together we do uh, you know more income pretty much um, how it works that's really neat that you found all this and you've never closed a real estate deal yeah, it's just, it's literally working off of uh, feedback of investors, you know, what That's they need and we just listen and, and implement. Gotcha. And so how long, how long has, this is 2015, 2016 is kind of when y'all started doing this? Yeah, we, we first, so we launched the platform. Well, the brand was created 2016, right? And this yeah. is where we still were operating as, as a digital marketing agency, but specializing in real estate. But we, we transitioned into the platform, I think around 2018, where we completely stopped providing services, right? As far as digital marketing services, and we became uh, like an unbiased, entity between you know the 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 professional real estate professionals gotcha and are y'all nationwide are there markets zip code cities that maybe you aren't in yet or no full um, united states we covered the whole united states that's really cool and how many <clears throat> ballpark users do you think are on the platform you know buying and selling or wholesaling properties right now it generally like i would say it Total users probably close to twenty thousand. So this is again, this is all the users, right? Yeah. Maybe more, and it's growing every day. But specifically for investors, like we literally just transitioned. You know, we we we, we released all these features that I just discussed like a few months ago, right? So we yes. kind of we onboarding a lot of users uh, recently, and um, yeah. So I don't even have numbers. I need to like it's every day really updating. That's awesome. That's good to hey, That's good to hear, you know, and, and it's, it's good to hear that people are going to the platform and I, and I see that they will, because again, you're the platform is just a vehicle and all the value is trying to be led to the investor. Yeah. And so are there anything for, um, like agents or other real estate positions, um, other than just the wholesalers, or is that really who you're focusing with or the investors? Uh, we have other stuff. So basically, as I previously mentioned, the the, the uh, business directory, right? So so we we have it open for every type of vendor, right? So yeah. you know, whoever wants to go and create the account, they can go. Whether it is agent, property manager, builder, lender, right? But we're really developing at this point. We're really developing all the functionalities for investors at this point. So let me ask a little bit about growing this business because I'm sure you've had some growing pains as, as, as creating it. What has been one big thing that you've learned um, in building this business that's helped you think start to have some success and 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 really help you cast the vision that you want? There's been so many pains <laughs> in this business. You know, one of the biggest things, I guess, in this type of models, right? Because it's uh, the biggest pains is having two sides, right? So whenever you try to run this type of company like this one, right? So you have always, you know, the buyer and the seller, right? So, yeah. or regardless, buyer of the property, seller of the property, buyer of the lead, uh, you know, and, and somebody who brings the lead, right? So it is really hard because it's always like a chicken and the egg, right? So who you get first, you get first the buyers, 
right? And then you, you go in and generate leads uh, or properties, whatever, or the opposite. First you generate demand and then you get the buyers, right? So this was one of the biggest um, issues that we kind of faced, but there are definitely more because it's just, you know, obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. I, I can see that because I guess it's like, hey, I want to put this platform out for investors that's going to have leads. But if you don't have leads, then they're just going to kind of log in and be like, well, there's nothing in my area and I can see them forgetting about it or not maybe updating it. And then on the same side, when you're generating leads, generally these people want something to happen quickly. And so if you don't have users, then the leads kind of die down. Yeah. Will that affect your SEO strength at all? Or or I guess the, the SEO really doesn't know whether the leads are being, anything's being done with them or not. No, it just sucks, you know? Yeah. And this is this was more of our issue whenever, uh, you know, in our business, we, we have the ability to generate those leads and we always had. And so we generate a bunch of leads and then we don't have the, you know, to, we don't have uh, enough customers to sell it to, right? And so yeah. some of yeah. the leads always kind of stay unsold, which which sucks because it's, you know, it's a lot of uh, resources from our side to generate those leads. But we are getting better in this and, you know, we get more and more users. So we kind of, we see is picking up right now and, and more and more leads get sold and all of that. Do you, let's say you had a city that you got, 10 leads in and you don't have anybody, let's say you don't have a user there or you don't have somebody buying them. Will you go out and reach out and try to find investors in that area and say, Hey, listen, we have a handful of leads, you know, let's try to see if we can make something work to try to get them on the platform. At this point, we don't do this, you know, it's just yeah. not enough resources to do that, but we try to kind of attack this from different sides so we more we do it kind of we try to do it on a massive scale so for example um making uh, relationships right with some large companies where we come and say listen uh, we can offer you those leads in these areas for you know deeply discounted price right but you just you, you'll just buy all of them and that's yeah. it and yeah. so this is how we try to approach this gotcha okay that makes sense and then a question I have, this is more, I guess for me, do the leads, and if and if you don't, we'll have a conversation with Sharad. Do the leads that we buy from real estate bees, can they be pushed directly into, re-simply into our CRM? Or do we have to manually add them? Like, are there any connections, I guess? Yeah, I mean, definitely can, uh, uh, we are open for this type of integrations. We, we did do a few integrations with large uh, companies, like, for example, for home light. So we do have those, you know, custom integrations when we, uh, you know, when we have a good partner. Yeah. Cool. That would be, that'd be something. Cause I know myself, um, I've used like paper lead services and SEO and until I got it to where Zapier was the word I was thinking for until I was able to get them. Um, and I know nothing about technology at all, but until I was able to get them pushed into my CRM automatically, I felt like I never worked them as hard as they needed to be worked. You know, I'd get the lead, it would come to my phone, I'd mm -hmm. call them, they either wouldn't answer or not. But then I'd always have to go back to my email or that website where now, you know, I can get them pushed into my CRM immediately and then get them on drips or emails and stuff like that. Totally, yeah. We, we are definitely looking into uh, integrate with some of the you know leaders in the in the space, and are, are simply definitely one of them. So we definitely will be building those you know direct integrations with uh, certain apps. Yeah, that's cool. I think that'll be, I think that'll be a, a huge help for you know anybody. But obviously, you know, people buying leads from your website, you know, having the ability to kind of have them in front of them, and then it allows them to know like. Because what Resimply is based on is knowing all of your numbers and making educated decisions. Um, and if it's, you know, they're paying for leads and they realize that they're paying this much money a month, but they're making this much more money a month, then it's like, hey, how do I get more leads? Or how do I make sure I work these leads more? Um, which would, would benefit both parties for sure. Right. And this is especially, yeah, definitely all this um, 
productivity apps definitely help because we kind of we so many times especially i remember uh in in the early days in our agency uh time right so you do all this heavy lifting generating leads and then they just client doesn't answer the phone or client doesn't check email this is it's just it was so frustrating for me and then you know they blame it on us because you know like i don't have business okay well then why don't you just answer the phone <laughs> yeah it's such a strange concept and it's because everybody wants you know they see all this stuff on social media and this is my belief is that they want people to just call them and say hey oleg i want to sell you my house at 50 cents on the dollar yeah <laughs> come buy it next friday it's going to be really simple and then that's it where in the in in the grand scheme of it i have one right now that we have been under contract since february uh -huh. and we were set to close last week and now we are on a investigate that investigation, not the right word, a hunt, maybe I don't for one of the sisters who's just all of a sudden disappeared. Won't mm. answer a phone, won't answer an email. And so we can't buy our house until she signs the closing docs. Right. And it's, you know, it's, it's never, it's never easy. And I think that's where people kind of struggle with it. And it's easy to blame the person generating the leads, you know, Hey, your lead just, they're not motivated. Well, mm -hmm. did you did you try? Right, and we actually, you know what, we're building this pro uh, system right now, which also actually another pain point, right, that we um, identified between, especially among uh, wholesalers, is that they don't know. Like a lot of wholesalers, especially the newbie ones, they don't have enough um exit strategies right that they can apply to to uh really monetize as much lead leads as possible and so there are many wholesalers who you know get really good lead right but let's say they have a really really small equity in the property and so for yeah. for wholesalers just you know it's a dead lead in most cases right unless they know how to utilize this uh, you know this uh, creative financing strategies where you know, we have some investors that buy leads from us that do it all, right? And so they, we see the most value for them and for the client at the same time, because, you know, person who's, who has this um, um, small equity, right? So they still need solution, right? And if wholesaler comes across, May, very likely they, they, they won't close the deal and so they need somebody who's more has more uh, strategies under the belt who that the, the, they can deploy and so we are working right now on this um uh, feature that will allow wholesalers or not just wholesalers also investors so for example if if a lead comes in right and they just don't know what to do with it they can push it directly to our marketplace you know, add few fields to it, kind of explain why it wasn't fit, good fit for them, and then really find a better buyer for that lead, better somebody who, who can really serve the client. So we're really working on this solution right now. That's really cool because that's, and it, it can allow wholesalers to learn. It can allow people that do things differently or creatively to maybe see or have access to some other leads um, because there are a lot of strategies that a newer investor may not know where if they were to pick up the phone and call somebody, they could figure something out. It also allows them to kind of get a little return to their um, marketing budget. Because right yeah. now, as long as I'm aware, there is no program like this anywhere where, you know, somebody, obviously, uh, wholesalers, investors, they, you know, those who invest in the marketing right who have budget monthly budget it's just you know on average and again we, we did some surveys with our users um on average i would say 80 percent of the leads that they get they can't do anything with so this is you know this is a lot of money right and this yes. money can be returned to them if not 100 percent right at least 80 percent of that money can be returned by just using the solution that I, i'm talking about yeah, no, that's that's a huge one is like, what do you do with your wasted leads? <clears throat> so that would be awesome to have the ability to kind of network with people who do things differently. And again, at that point, it's not about making money. It's just, can I get some of my marketing budget back so that yeah. I can redeploy it next month? Well, that's really cool. Well, Oleg, is there anything else 
special about real estate bees you'd like to share that we haven't covered? Or did we pretty much kind of cover everything that, that you know, you guys are interested in right now? Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of different features that we didn't yeah. go through because it's just, it will require the whole day probably to go yeah, through that's them. Yeah, so I, was, I was looking at the website. I mean, there's a ton. I, I think the biggest thing that people want, I want people to take away, like the platform is free to get on. Yeah, There's a lot of free resources and whether you're newer or experienced or whatever, like getting on these platforms and, and taking advantage of free resources can always help your business. And then, you know, on top of that, there's the ability to, to use some paid services to, to help grow as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. Well, Oleg, where can people find you? Where can people sign up at? Like once they're done listening to this and they stop the podcast, where do you want them to go um, directly and how do they reach out to you? Yeah, so it's just uh, to our social media accounts, probably um, it's just easy. You know, you can Google real estate bees, either just real estate bees or go and do real estate bees, Facebook, real estate bees, LinkedIn, right? So you will reach our pages, uh, business pages as well. Of course, uh, uh, welcome everybody who wants to uh, join our program. The only issue right now that we are really, as we speak, we transition the, the older pro, uh, dashboard to newer one. So we kind of transition several modules there, but still some of them are on the um, old platform. So if you want to get access to the features that I just, that we discussed through this um, uh, episode. So I will drop a link in the, you know, if you can share it, Brandon, on the yeah. page later on. So I will drop a link that which uh, of, of this uh, particular URL where you can go and, and register because okay. right now on our, you know, public website in many places, it's still kind of the old registration link. So you will be registering real estate biz, but to the old dashboard, which doesn't have a lot of features there. Got it. Okay. So yeah. So what we'll do is after it's over, you email me the link. And then I'll make sure it goes in the notes of the podcast. And then uh, we'll also share it on our social media as well um, to make sure everybody knows. So, cause I mean, it, it sounds to me as an investor who is really focused on buying, who does a wholesale a lot, it sounds like a no brainer to go in there and put my criteria in and either A, there may be leads for me to buy directly cause I do use paper leads. But on the other side, there may be people who come across homes and have exactly what I'm looking for. Absolutely, yep. Oleg, I appreciate it. I appreciate your time today, and I look forward to being on your platform and, and hopefully making some money together doing it. Absolutely, thank you for having me, Brendan.